So guess where I am today? Well, if I titled this Abandoned Mini Golf Course, then you don't need to do much guessing because you already know. But yes, I am at my fourth Abandoned Mini Golf Course and I don't know why. I don't know why I'm at my fourth Abandoned Mini Golf Course. I have this one friend and she's a photographer and she likes to photograph abandoned places. So whenever she finds one, she messages me and tells me of new places I didn't know about and this is one of them. It's yet another abandoned mini golf course. And I didn't really want to do this because I swore I would never go to another one again. I've been to four. This is my fourth, the one in Salem. There was a mini golf course at Enchanted Forest and there was a mini golf course at Funland. And all those videos were cool because they had other things going on except the one in Salem. This, like the one in Salem, is just an abandoned mini golf course. But it looks like it's really kind of run down, which might make it cool, I don't know. So let's make this quick. I didn't have anything else to do today. It's semi-local, kind of. So I decided to stop by. So just humor me and watch the video. It's gonna be short, I promise. Doesn't look like there's much to see and do. Let's go check it out. Fingers crossed that it's not a huge giant fail. Let's go. There's construction going on over there <laughs> through those woods. So yeah, you're gonna hear that in the background maybe, but just ignore that and let's check out my fourth abandoned mini golf course. Let's see if we can just make this quick because as you'll see, it's on the side of the road. The road's right there. So of course I don't want lots of people seeing me. Here's a disgusting algae ridden pond. That's not grass, that's algae. Very pretty colored algae. Okay, let's check out another mini golf course. Yeah, it just looks like your standard average mini golf course. That's a pretty little tree right there. Yeah, we still got the golf ball shaped podiums where you can keep score. Those are all still there. And this course is very overgrown, but you can still see the hole. Not as bad as the, the one I went to in Salem. Here's another pond. Not as much algae, but enough to show that it is definitely not a maintained mini golf course. As you can see, the road is right there. Very annoying. So yeah, all the cars can see me. I'm gonna try to avoid this whole area. I'm actually gonna avoid that entire area over there because that's the main road. See, look, cars going by and it's very annoying and it's very loud and everyone can see me. And of course I wanna avoid that. Let's go over it. No more water flowing under this bridge. Hole number 10. Giant golf ball. That's really one of the podiums. Yeah, okay. That's a mess. I don't know if they're in the process of demolishing this or if vandals have done this. Or if a storm has done this, cause yeah, there's a fallen tree over here. A tree has fallen in the mini golf course. Did it make a sound?
that one had to destroy it. Well, what if the tree lands in the water? What's the penalty for that? What if tree in water? Do you get like a free game if the tree lands in the, in the water? Okay. Yeah, I think they're 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 demolishing this. I want to take one of those, but that would be stealing, so I'm not going to do that. But it'd be so cool. Look, it'd be like just a giant golf ball souvenir. There's the clubhouse. It probably got cameras aimed on me right now. Yeah, this is not very exciting at all. Ah. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. I didn't pay. Sorry. Who's sneaking onto mini golf courses besides me after they've been abandoned? Like, who's... Who's flagrantly breaking the rules like that? That's the, um... Driving range. And it's weird, it has trampolines that you're supposed to aim for. That is a trampoline that you're supposed to aim the golf ball at. So I guess it bounces off of it. I don't know. I don't know why that's there. I mean, I know why. It just doesn't make much sense for the ball to come flying back at you. Hmm. Yeah, I'll say. Uneven sidewalks and terrain. Yeah, um, I'd say that is definitely uneven terrain. So that sign is correct. I'm going to take a selfie with that now. I don't think anybody wants to have their birthday party here anymore. I guess while I'm here, I can make a really bad advertisement for this place. Hey kids, have you ever dreamed to have your birthday party at a mini golf course? Well, check this one out. Found the nine hole flag. Well, Dennis, I guess you don't have to worry about kids climbing on you anymore. So actually the reason for that sign is that this place used to have a Jurassic dinosaur theme to it. All the dinosaur statues have been removed, but there used to be dinosaur statues all over the the course. That's why that sign said that. I wonder if this door is open. I highly doubt if it is. I probably just tripped some kind of alarm. It's just your typical average garage, but that was real. I did not expect that to be open. I did not pre-open pre that. That was my first attempt at opening it, and it is open. I will show you the inside, but it is boring. It is just a garage. Check it out. See, it is just your typical average garage. Oh, there's some 
mini golf balls. They're very light. These are like, like shitty golf balls. They're like, they're like plastic. They're like not real golf balls. That's weird. Okay. Put those back. I'm probably setting off an alarm because this looks like a garage people still use. So I'm going to go now. Yeah. Let's close that up and pretend we never did that. Okay. Before I go, I need to check out this trampoline over here to see what that's all about. The trampoline that's on the driving range. Let's check this out. That is definitely a tilted trampoline with a bullseye on it, meaning all the golfers probably must aim for that bullseye. There are some fluorescent green golf balls under it. Let's check it out. Let's see what happens when we bounce some of these off of the trampoline. Oh. They don't really, they don't really spring back at you. Okay, should I really do a truss fall? I made sure there's no like pitchforks or sharp objects in back of this. I'm totally gonna do a truss fall. <laughs> that was actually fun. Okay, that's enough. I don't want to get caught being here because out of all the abandoned places I've gone, the most embarrassing one to get caught at would be this one because it's kind of lame. So let's get out of here. Okay, I think we've seen enough. I'm going to try really hard to make that my absolute last abandoned mini golf course video. So I'm going to upload this, but it's just for a quick little mini explore. This is a mini little explorelet, not a full blown awesome abandoned building, abandoned factory, abandoned theme park explore. This is an explorelet. So I hope you liked it. Um, yeah, the next one will be a lot more exciting than this. But if you like mini golf courses and if you like abandoned mini golf courses, then this was probably amazing. It's got, it's got giant golf ball shaped podiums still left there. That's pretty cool, right? Okay, I'm out of here. This is like, this place is depressing.